Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another of these Deep Dip Floor, uh, Deep Dip 2 Floor World Record Reaction videos. We have two new floors that have been released since the last time we've been doing this, which is Floor 9 and Floor 10. And additionally, before we start with these two floors, um, we have to check out Floor 8 again. Because since the last time I checked it out, the World Record on Floor 8 got beaten by yeah, almost a minute. And I think the World Record is currently held by Hugo, as you can see, and he is literally an entire minute ahead of second and i haven't seen yet what's the reason for that so we're gonna check out this world record on floor eight i there has to be a cut or something but i haven't seen it yet so this is gonna be interesting okay wait stop 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 okay so f floor eight is the turtle floor usually you go to the left here and you go into the turtle you probably all know it what the hell is hugo doing okay so he is doing a cut he's jumping back to the end of floor seven what now No way, he... What? Wait, he bounces here? Lands backwards on this pipe. Okay, that's already insane. Where the fuck is he even going to? He's kinda trapped here. And he drops onto an... Wait, what? What? Okay, wait, stop. What is that cut? So already this bounce is like... Very questionable. What is this? And then he has to drop to this pipe here to land on this flip part here okay that's a huge skip with that he basically saves the first turtle section the jump onto the beam the bobsleigh jump and the flip yeah, okay that's uh, that makes sense i guess that makes sense that's probably the entire reason why he is one minute ahead of everyone okay that's kind of insane to be honest holy shit okay and i guess the rest of the floor is just normal don't think there's anything new He's probably gonna do everything, like, very risky, I assume. But, yeah, like, what the fuck? Okay, that is actually ridiculous. That's probably... That's probably the biggest cut found so far on this map. I would assume, at least. Not that I know of anything else. There have been some smaller cuts found, for example, at the beginning of Floor 5. But, other than that... That is kind of ridiculous. Okay, he's also going full YOLO over this here. Nobody would ever do it like that on the real tower, except for Elcon, maybe. Forwards climb, also insta going here, very interesting. Zack jumps, barely makes it. Yeah, the rest is probably normal, we have already watched this. Jump, jump, also directly going here, no like awkward turnaround. That is a very ridiculous shortcut, not gonna lie. I mean, yeah, okay, we have the floor 13 cut, yeah, I don't know how much it saves though. Hard to, hard to uh, estimate, but yeah, this is the, definitely the biggest cut on the floor so far. That is crazy. Okay, that is an insane cut by Hugo. Like, how do you, how does he even find that? Like, holy shit. Okay. Anyway, let's check out floor 9 and floor 10 now. <clears throat> so, floor 9. This one has been out for quite a few days already. Like, almost a week, I think. So, I guess the world record here should already be nice. I did already play the floor myself. I got a 218. And world record by Telebird is almost half a minute faster. Oh, no, actually more than half a minute. Okay, so first of all, she instantly goes at the start, okay. Outside line here, interesting. Oh yeah, seems to, seems to be quite easy, actually. <coughs> oh my god, wait, stop, look at this. Okay, nobody would ever do this as well. Instantly jumping, bouncing, getting over here, and instantly going here. Okay, that is crazy. Usually people stop on the pillar here, and then go backwards, take speed, Land here and then also back up here and she's like avoiding everything of that. That is pretty crazy to be honest. And also here turn around insta going no like setup and like an interesting double bounce. Like bouncing with the back on this part there interesting. Very interesting. Okay then here you can instantly go. That's not very hard I do that on the real tower as well. Pretty simple. Low jump here to reduce some air time. Nice. Then backing up, I guess. Yeah, you have to do this. There's like not really a way to make this any faster. <coughs> so jump. Jump. Okay, smooth. Oh, very smooth landing. Holy moly. Then here you can instantly go to the left. Zack. Oh my god, I was close. Jump. Jump. Zack. And going here. Okay. Okay, what, what, what is she doing here? Which threat is she doing? Okay, she's doing the, 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 the cut. Not really cut, to be honest, but yeah. Smooth landing here. 
zack, jump up, also low airtime, nice, nice, nice. Small Neo Slide even. Zack, zack, zack. Probably Insta going here, yeah. Okay, honestly the most impressive part was definitely the, the beginning of the floor, like the one with the booster gate. I mean, the rest of the floor is rather simple, there's nothing you can really do. It's just like precise jumps, you know, there's not really a lot of tricks that you can do or anything. Jump, 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 and jump. Yeah, very clean. That, there's definitely a reason why she's 13 seconds ahead of second. Like, it's ma it's mainly uh, this jump here, I would say. Like, this saves... This doesn't look like a lot, but it saves a lot of time, usually. Crazy. And Telly also says there's a trick in the end that saves 3 seconds. The only thing that I noticed is that you landed here and you instantly went here. Usually people also um, back up here. But Telly just insta goes because, yeah, why not? Also very clean landing here, by the way. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Okay, one more world record to watch for now. Floor 10, the ice floor. That could be interesting. Okay, wait, I, I have to give five seconds to my girlfriend. Be right back, guys. <laughs> Okay, floor 10, so, world record by Maverick, a 155, alright, Maverick is actually also the mapper of this floor, so uh, he definitely knows what this floor is about. We already start with an ice slide to the left into 360, this is actually not even that hard to do, you can do it on the real tower. It might look risky, but it's pretty doable to be honest. Then, uh, Insta going here, that's also still doable. Oh, Insta going here. Okay, I don't think anyone is doing that. This is actually very, very weird. That's the first time I've seen it. It doesn't look that difficult, but nobody's, like, doing that. Because why would you, you know? Why would you? Okay, tuck, jump. Ice slide here. Interesting as well. Probably, like, also this, probably not too hard, but people usually just go safe. They usually just, like, not ice slide. And go slow and get, like, a nice angle. Ice slide, of course, is faster. Probably like a second or so. Uh, pretty good. Pretty good. Also not going around the circle here. Uh, also probably doable. I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't look that hard. Okay, this is weird. Insta going here. Okay, that is cursed. That is very cursed. Not backing up here to take speed. Usually people go backwards up the hill and then take all the speed they can. But he just takes the speed from the dirt. Interesting. I mean, also that, probably doable. <laughs> probably doable. But it's just like things that nobody really tries out on the real tower, because you don't really want to risk that much anymore when you're on floor 10. And like also, when you're on floor 10, you're not really uh, willing to take risks just to try to perform like a one second time save, you know? But on a practice floor, of course, it's different. <coughs> so clean landing, instantly through the gap. Instantly going for the 360. That was to be expected. Nice. Then I guess he's doing everything of this uh, without a break as well. Zack. Zack. Ice slide. Go here. Is there any strat for this? Oh, he's not even doing an ice slide and then instantly going around. Okay, that's pretty cool as well. That I've also never seen before. Then very risky here. Instantly going, of course. I mean, the ending, you cannot really do anything. Casual run for Elcon, yeah. That also seems to be like the most common... Uh, YouTube kind of comment that I get below these videos. Like, we watch the world records and people are doing insane things and then people in the YouTube comments are just saying, yeah, this is what Elcon does all the time. <laughs> and yeah, clean landing and makes it. Okay, crazy. So a lot of, like, small time saves here that people are not really doing on the tower. So overall, pretty impressive. And I mean, I did a run where I made everything first try and quite fast and it took me 2.42, which is, like, a lot slower than the world record. So... Even though it's like only small time saves, they are really adding up. So, good world record here by Eric. And uh, yeah, we still have a lot of floors that will come out. Uh, we have 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 and 16. So, six more practice floors are coming within the next days and weeks. So, uh, yeah, really hope you enjoyed this episode of Deep Dip 2 Floor World Record Watching. And I hope you guys will tune in for the next one as well. And uh, thank you for watching and tschüssi!